Hi guys, Frost Fangs here, and welcome back once again to another episode of Frost Talks. Thank you guys for the support on the first video, I really wasn't expecting that much of a positive response. Thank you all, really do appreciate it. Now we're coming back again with episode 2. Today I'm going to be talking about quick casting and the other casting methods, the benefits and downsides of each, and why you should probably be using quick casting. So, I have friends that use all three of these methods, and I respect you no matter what method of casting you decide to go with. I personally feel like quick casting is better, and I'm going to try and sort of argue that point now. Default casting, I'm going to give you a little explanation now real quick, by the way, of the three different casting methods. Default casting, you hit the button when it's off cooldown, you left click and it activates. Quick casting, you hold the button down, you see the outline, when you let go of the button, it triggers. Instant casting, you hit the button, it goes. That's it. Default casting, the only scenarios where I'd recommend using default casting would be when you're new to the game, or when you're new to a character, and you're not 100% comfortable with what you're doing, and or specific skill shots if you're not very good at aiming stuff, like maybe Ra's ult or Thanatos is one. Quick casting in general is going to be a lot better, especially for one scenario that I can that I can envision right now, which is escaping. Let me give you the scenario here. So you're Fenrir, you're running away from somebody, and you want to get your 1 and or your 3 off as soon as possible to get out of combat and get back to your base and regen your health. So, default casting, you have to wait for that ability to come off cooldown, hit 1, hit left click, okay? There's a lot of room for error there, you're obviously going to be a little bit more delayed, and you could accidentally use a basic which would slow your movement speed and then you'd be screwed. Quick casting, you can just mash that button. Mash that button until it comes off cooldown and then it's instantly going to go off. There is a very short time between when you see the outline and when it actually goes off if you're just smashing it, really. So, that's a huge benefit of quick casting. Also, if you're in a fight and you're obviously trying to get your abilities off as soon as you can, it's going to help you there as well, because you're just going to cast everything quicker. The only downside which I see to quick casting, and this also applies to instant casting, is say if you're playing a character like Rom, okay? Your role is right next to your ultimate. Say you're in base, you want to you want to use your role to get out of base, obviously, and get a little bit further out of base and regen your mana, so there's no downsides. You want to use your role, so you're going to hit three. And if you're comfortable enough and you've been playing Smite long enough, you're just going to hit three to roll forward. Why wouldn't you? If you accidentally hit four, you're going to use your ultimate in base. That can kind of suck. That's happened to me a few times, and I know it'll probably it's probably happened to some of you guys that already use quick casting or instant casting. So there is that. Keep that in mind. But after watching this video, what I'd recommend everybody to do is if you've never tried quick casting, at least give it a go. If you're on instant casting, you're like even next level, you probably don't even need to watch this video. At least give quick casting a try. Just go ahead into your menu, um, like maybe your favorite god, and just put them all to quick casting. And if you really like the idea of it, go into your settings and just change it to a default so everything is changed. Little note here, only do that if you actually like quick casting. I wouldn't recommend doing that if you hate it, that's probably a bad idea. That's all I can really say. Quick casting is better in nearly every single scenario, other than very specific ones that I've already pointed out. And as I've said, I have people that play every single one, and I know the downsides and the benefits to each different thing, because I've also tried them myself, I play a lot of Smite. That's it, if you've got any other things that you want to hear me talk about, leave a comment down below, leave a like if you want more Frost Talks. I will see you guys tomorrow, thank you all for watching, and as always, stay frosty.